long so if you have something to do please feel free to rewatch it later on so what you want to do grate your cauliflower like this guys this one is a very large one as you can see i didn't even bother cut it Look how easy. All right. Very, very, very easy. And I'm just rubbing the grater on it like this. All right. Oh. Cauliflower doesn't smell nice enough. So people who are want to load a cholesterol level, these are food which I would encourage you to eat at home. This one I'm gonna make for you right now. Alright. Cauliflower doesn't smell nice. <laughs> so this is the way it looks, guys. All right. This is the way the cauliflower rice look when you're great at it. Now, some people go to the supermarket. You can get it like this, already greater and ready, or you can just buy the fresh one, like I just did, and greater it. All right. So my advice: do the same thing. Just buy a fresh one, bring it home, and grate it. Very easy. But the way I'm going to do it, it's going to be super easy and nice. So stay there, don't go anywhere. And watch the need free one day. Alright. Also, in the meantime, get yourself a copy of the book. It's important, guys. Alright. Important for you to get a copy. Alright. Let's do some serious thing right now with it all right on the cauliflower this is what we're going to do we're going to put pimento seed in it like this i'm going to show you something we're going to we're going to marinate the cauliflower before we start doing anything we got some um, some cloves we're going to put a few cloves in it that's going to bring a lovely flavor so this is my version. If you have your own version, please share it with Chef Ricardo. All right. Also, we're going to put some paprika. We're going to go right into it with some paprika. You know what I mean? That's going to give it a lovely little color. Uh, so, so that's the paprika. We're just using it. Turmeric is also very nice. Turmeric give it a nice lovely color. So we're going to put some turmeric inside of it. All right, so we're gonna marinate it like how you marinate your meat to get that beautiful flavor and taste. Now I'm gonna go all the way into India. We're gonna come with some cumin seeds. If you don't have these kind of seeds, do not, you don't have to use it because I cook with a lot of spices like seeds and natural stuff. So we're gonna put a few inside of it. And also, we're gonna go straight in it with some fennel seed. Fennel seed is an amazing, you can also use, we're gonna put a few grains in it. Very good for weight loss and detoxing the body. All right, we're gonna come with some carry away seeds. So I like to use these natural stuff. But if you guys don't have these, you don't have to worry yourself. Just use what you have, okay? Excellent right there. Um, we're going to go in it with some of the Jamaican Valley um, jerk seasoning. A little bit of the Jamaican Valley jerk seasoning. It's going to bring in a, a nice little spice to it. But it doesn't matter. You can just use what you have at home. No worry yourself. No stress. Um, as I 
say. All right. I'm gonna put some of my favorite inside of it. This is some all-purpose seasoning. All right, little bit of all-purpose seasoning inside of it, and then I just mix it around like this. So you are marinating the cauliflower, guys. Okay, that means say. Uh, it's gonna be super nice, but just watch what you're gonna do. So basically, the way I'm doing it is like if you um you have leftover rice and you want to do yourself some stir fry rice. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. We're gonna put a little bit more turmeric on it. All right, because the turmeric definitely give it a nice, lovely color. My advice. And just kind of mix it together. And I will encourage you guys, this is a very, very healthy meal where you guys can also make it home. Okay? All right, now. Let's jump straight into it with some serious things now. All right. So we're going to put some ginger in it. That's some ginger. Fresh ginger. Pimento seed is good, man. I have some pimento seed in it. All right. Fresh ginger. Now we're gonna put some tomato inside of it. All right, guys. Yeah, I like my my tomato. So it's gonna be a little bit of time on it, but I'm gonna tell you something. It is beautiful. This recipe. All right. That's the tomato. And now we're gonna get some peppers. So we're gonna get some yellow pepper. All right, that's the yellow pepper. And also we've got some red pepper, which we're gonna also use. That's the red pepper. Lovely. Um, I don't have any green pepper. I got another pepper, which is like an orange pepper, which is it's lovely. All right. And that's the way it look. All right. That is excellent. Now, also, when you're making this kind of food, you have to have this kind of color onion inside of it. You're gonna make the flavor where you get from the purple onion when you're cooking sometime. Really nice. So we're gonna get a purple onion. Inside of it, lovely purple onion. All right, now I'm gonna say something to you guys it doesn't take long to cook, it's important for you to sit back and enjoy the flight. Alright, just imagine you're flying going to Jamaica right now. You don't have any choice to do it now. You can't say you can't stop somewhere and buy a drink. Alright. You just have to just sit back tonight and enjoy the flight. So that's what you need to do right now. Sit back and enjoy the flight. Last for so long, don't worry yourself. 
in a couple of a couple of minutes time we're gonna land. Alright, we're gonna get some spring onion. Yeah. Spring onion. Let's keep your phone in your ears. Alright? If you anything you do, just chill and relax and enjoy the flight. Alright? We're gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon juice inside of it. Nice. Alright? Then we're gonna put a little bit of black pepper. Just sit back and enjoy the flight. Because you know, when you are flying, you can't, so you can't stop somewhere. A little bit of salt. And buy something. That now go up. Right now, that's a fee. Enjoy the flight. Right? Yeah. Good vibes. All right. Big up all of the people who are reach out to me. The greatest thing, I love everyone I want to guys. <laughs> One more than one. I love you know. Yeah. So sit back and enjoy the flight. We're gonna get some garlic. All right, but we're not gonna put the garlic in it yet. Now mixing this into it, guys. All right. Yeah. So the greatest thing. Everything has done now. We I want it. All right. I'm gonna say something to you guys. This. What I'm doing right here is healthy. So all of the people who are saying, I would love to lower my cholesterol level, but I don't know what to eat because sometimes I'm so hungry. What can I eat? Sometimes I feel like to go to that little corner shop and buy some biscuit or... No. No. You don't have to. Cook some portion of food like this. Get all two of them and just grit at it. Okay, go and work with you. Because you know what happened? Because I try my best, but I don't see it working. Lie, it can work. All right, it can work. We're gonna show you how to do this one. So let's clear off here, sir. And in the meantime, order yourself a book. All right. Order yourself a book and support Chef Ricardo journey. Alright, that's the only thing I can say right now. Let's get the pot and let's make up some food in the air. I'm gonna use the, my favorite pot, the Dutch. Alright, so here, here we will start in the meantime. Order yourself it, guys. Yeah, order yourself a copy of the book. 50% off at the moment. And you guys can get it to buy. Let's heist it up a little bit. Let's see, guys, can see. We don't have a lot of people I watch at the moment, but we're still happy. So, this is our start. Now, what you need to do is to have a very high pot. Eat it pot, all right? Yeah, you wanna make sure the pot is hot, all right? All right, now let's get some of my favorite stuff over here. Here it is. I'm gonna use a little bit of olive oil in the frying pan, roughly about half teaspoon of olive oil. Okay, yeah, half teaspoon of olive oil. Then, what you want to do now to get the flavor, 
you want to get the garlic because the garlic is going to bring in a nice lovely flavor to it all right that's the garlic right there flavor to it yeah and then what you want to do just put a few extra pimento seed in the pot Craig you've been late man um NAV big up yourself just listening thank you so much man appreciate the love um put a few more cloves in it because I love these things you know natural stuff to cook with all right can't go around with natural things. Only thing I don't have is my rosemary. But I got my favorite. that looking good that mean I mean it's excellent right there so far yeah a good vibes so all right so we got the garlic in the pot and we have some thyme a little bit of pimento seed some cloves you know to bring in a nice little Roman flavor in that in the, in the, in this Thing right here all right it's gonna be a nice one guys so this is what I want you guys to make sometime at home yeah man all right so rush girl big up herself thank you so much for coming on the show I appreciate it 100% nice flavor come on for that right So what we're gonna do, stir this another pot two times and we're good to go. Then we're going to put in our nice grater cauliflower rice. Alright. Yeah man, that looking good. That looking excellent chef Ricardo. Can't go wrong. Cauliflower rice. So it look like scrambled egg. So you just wanna do it like this. Look at that guys. Now you can uh, do the, the scrambled egg in uh, so many different ways. The, the, you know, the, the, the cauliflower in uh, so many different ways. Excellent chef Ricardo. That is amazing. The old flavor and the texture is delicious. Yeah. Wow. This is the meat free Monday recipe. Now I will be reloading it later on still. And I edit in one.
this looking good guys all right that looking excellent and it's nice let me know what you guys think Let me know what you guys think. If you have something better than this, please let me know. Because I'm willing to learn. Craig, what's going on? Veronica. Thank you so much, man. And big up my subscribers then. Alright. Yeah. So this is more healthier than anything you're gonna eat this evening. Very, very healthy. any fish or any meat in this we're just doing it naturally okay because this is the way you're supposed to do things at home when you do certain kind of healthy eating it doesn't take long to cook you know it's very easy to cook Very, very easy. Sweat him off and make him cook. Let's cover it for a few minutes. Make it steam it, you know what I mean? It's a beautiful recipe, guys. I love it. Cauliflower rice. Wow. It's just something that me personally love. Is more healthier than certain kind of stuff we normally we don't normally eat what we love to eat it's not one of the best in the world to say yes that's gonna fill up your tummy but eating this is more healthier yeah that's my advice as I said, I'm not a doctor, but yeah. You would never find people cook them at something in our restaurant. Let's remove this. I will get a lot of flavor from this now. We get a lot of flavor from it. Yeah, there's a lot of flavor come from that already. Yes, guys. So you're gonna see the finished product because the finished product is important. All right. Yeah, man. Yeah. Finished product is important. Wait, this. Okay, I got it. I got it. I find it. One of my favorites. See what's going on. Oh yes, Chef Ricardo. That looking delicious.
doesn't take long to cook, man. Almost finished. A lot of people don't like cauliflower, eh? <laughs> but they don't know the benefit of it. It's powerful something, this is man. The benefit behind it is amazing. Let's try it and see what I go on. All right. Mm. Wow. 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 That is delicious. Mm -mm. The only thing I'm put in it, to be honest with you, a little bit more salt. Uh, the flavor. Oh my God. Heaven in the mouth. Turn off the cooker. All right, guys. Get on yourself a copy of the book From Poverty to Purpose Chef Ricardo Secret Recipe. All right. Don't forget, guys. Please support. All right. This, if you're a meat lover or fish lover, you're good to go right there. Yeah, yeah. Trust me. Yeah, man. If you're a meat lover, you're good to go. Let's share it up. It's a five minutes recipe, you know, man. All right. You come from work and you're tired, then this is something you can go and cook. All right. Yeah, man. My advice, cholesterol level, good for this. All right. When you go to the toilet, you don't have any problem. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Nice. All right. Beautiful and nice and simple, but delicious. Wow. You know what? Yeah, man. We're going to use some avocado on it like this. A lot of people don't like avocado, you know. Avocado is good, guys. Proper thing to have with the avocado. Yeah. Yeah, man. A lot of people don't like avocado. They say it tastes too bad. It's good food. favorite on it you know what i mean this is what i like all right coriander all right coriander is very lovely all right now this is what i'm talking about a simple little meal like this meat free monday you know what i mean Grate up yourself some cauliflower and make this an amazing, incredible recipe, guys. Thank you so much.